nervous. nervous. I think I had a, a pretty good life. I mean, we just, uh, you know, we weren't wealthy people, but it was, there was love. That's how Maury Cohn sums up his time on Earth. Married for more than 40 years to a woman he calls his best friend, when his wife fell victim to cancer. And my wife had really very bad breast cancer. My kids were in California, so I retired uh, exactly 16 years ago. We moved out here 15 years ago and uh, to be with our kids and grandchildren. Maury's wife passed away about 12 years ago. He stayed in California near his kids. It was the smartest thing I could have done. But it was his health that would fail him. A bad back meant taking over-the-counter pain meds. He says as many as six a day. Nobody ever said, don't take it. And I never thought that I would ever be in a situation where I couldn't control my life. Maury's daughter Beth saw the first warning sign during a dinner party. And he just passed out and we didn't know what happened so he called the paramedics and it wasn't his heart but then they said that he might have had some kind of kidney problem. But with every test Maury's prognosis only got worse. And they basically found out that he had kidney failure and that eventually he'd have to have a transplant. By spring of 2013 Maury seriously began exploring his transplant options. He was too old to be a candidate for the cadaver list. Maury's son Jimmy went through extensive testing at UCLA to see if he was a match. You have one parent left and I'm very close to my dad. Um, very hard thinking about the what ifs. That's when doctors discovered a tumor on Jimmy's kidney that he likely would have never known about until it was too late. I was most upset that I couldn't donate my kidney. And Maury was feeling worse. I started getting some symptoms like my legs were twitching and symptoms of, of kidney failure. Beth wanted to donate. She wasn't a match for her father, but could still help him. It's called a paired exchange and 90,000 people are in need. So the only way I could get it was the paired exchange where I have someone to donate a kidney to somebody and I get one from somebody else. The chain worked. And they said, we have a match for you coming out of the Midwest. Chicago, they said. That is perfect. Give me my bread container because I haven't really had that much. Yet. That um, match was Teresa Kiefer of Manistee, a wife and a mother who says a powerful book and her strong faith inspired her to become a donor to a complete stranger. I know my family was definitely afraid. They were, you know, afraid for the surgery, afraid for quality of life after. October 29, 2013 was the day Maury got a second chance at life. But well, my mom was there too and she was she was always tearing up and she was probably more nervous and I just remember her asking me like, aren't you scared? And I, I wasn't, I felt totally at peace. The surgery was successful. These photos show Maury and Beth tracking Teresa's kidney cross country. And then they said, your kidney's on the, at the Chicago airport. They had a GPS on it. It's here, it's there, it's there, it's at LAX. And then they came and they said that it's in the OR here and I got hysterical. He spent nearly five hours in the operating room. I woke up, my hands are pink, and I, I got a mirror, I looked and I saw color in my face for the first time. All three surgeries were successful and Maury wanted to meet the woman who saved his life. I have to admit, it is a tense situation. They decided to meet in person. Oh, Teresa ventured to California and Maury patiently awaited his angel's arrival. Her hands on his back spoke volumes. And I'm glad that you're all here, and I love everybody. I love you too. I'm you my brother. Too. An Happy instant bond was formed with Maury's family. I was kind of blown away by the love. It makes me beyond happy to know I could do this. The ultimate gift. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. It means that I'm going to be around. I'm going to be around to hopefully see my granddaughters, you know, get further along in their lives and graduate high, high school and college and 
hopefully marriage and whatever, whatever. I'd like to be a great grandfather. She took care of me for a long time, this kid. I'm Sarah Simnich, reporting for 9 and 10 News at 6.